all right guys so welcome back to the channel i'm going to pull the footage here that is recorded on this flight felt good you know been feeling fine how it flies but i've been getting these weird vibrations for the longest time and i've been struggling with it for a while trying to isolate the problem so i've done a bunch of stuff and i finally started making some good headway and i think i've about got it pinned down but i wanted to come out here and do some testing so we're going to pull off the footage here and i want to see what it looks like <laughs> qavr v2 and it's got a dys f4 v2 pro flight controller uh, rotor right swift camera tramp um, vtx a xm plus receiver um, speedix 30 amp vls ESCs running dshot 600 and it's got the hype train uh, blaster motors and running the watermelon s3 ethics props 1500 uh, 4S pack and a Foxeer Pagoda antenna. Um, I think that's about everything. Oh, and there's a cap on there. I don't know what, what the size. I don't know if you see it there. See yellow? It's heat shrunk on there. So that's basically the uh, the setup and recording with a uh, GoPro Session 5. Um, so that's been the setup. And oh, and the QAVR has the extra brace on the bottom. So it's like super stiff, super stiff frame. Um, but I've been having these weird vibration issues, and if you've been watching the channel the last few videos, you kind of see me talk about it a little bit, and if you've been paying attention, you can probably see it. They're not overly noticeable, but they're noticeable enough, and in some cases, they're a lot worse. It was way, way, way worse. If I've got some of that footage, I'll show some of that here. You can see it. You can really see the jello that I started with. That was basically defaults on beta flight, more or less. So, uh, defaults for the freestyle setup that they recommend. And um, as far as feel, it felt fine. As far as video goes, terrible. It was just awful, vibrations, just awful. So, started playing with filters, started playing with all kinds of stuff, and uh, really wasn't getting anywhere. Um, a friend of mine, Bill Nice, um, I'll link his channel down there. Um, he gave me some ideas on filtering. So I tried his ideas on filtering. It helped some. It actually did help <coughs> a good bit. Then, but it still had the problem. Put a cap on. That helped a little bit more. Um, then I uh, changed the flight controller mount just ever so slightly. So it had just a little bit of give in it, but not a lot. Um, so that helped some. But I was still having the problem at mid-low low throttle. And that's where it was really dropping me. That's, if I was like on the throttle, didn't really see it. Whereas before, when I was on the throttle, I had the really bad, bad vibrations and the, the jello. Inactivity alarm. Oh, I should have um, So I was like, all right, I'm going to just start messing with these settings and playing around. And so Betaflight 4, they, they've split everything out and they've, they've made a bunch of options for configuration, which for some people that's great. For me, 
more options usually means more areas for me to mess things up. So what I decided to do, did not plug this. What I decided to do was to kind of go back to my roots, so to speak, and I turned off a bunch of stuff and turned kept turning stuff off. Um, and that seemed to help. It still wasn't all the way there, but it was helping. So like I got rid of the I turn relax, I got rid of throttle boost. Um, I got rid of, uh, let me just pull it up, I'll connect it here and uh, I'll pull it up. So let me get my quad, right, plug this in. And let's kind of go through changes that I made. Plug it in, go. All right, let's pull the beta flight up, connect. All right, so I wonder if I can, can I flip this around? No, I took a picture. I will. All right, so we'll just try to. I'll just kind of talk through it, and uh, maybe I'll edit in some screenshots here while I'm talking about what I'm looking at here. Okay, so what I'm talking about. So I turned off D min. I set D min roll pitch yaw all to zero. I left gain advance along because if you set the others to zero, it doesn't come into effect. Um, I set my derivatives down to like 25 because. I know those have been good values in the past, and they really need a whole lot of D. So that was on uh, pitch and roll. And then um, I started gradually lowering I down on all of the, uh, um, on everything, and um, kept doing that. And that, that seemed to make a big difference. Um, and I got I down to like 50 on all three. Um, and then while doing that, I also... Um, I increased P just slightly, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, once I got the eyes down. And that really started helping. I started seeing vibrations, a little twitchiness kind of go away. And that made sense to me because when I was doing tuning on flight one with uh, some of the setups I had that had weak motors or whatever, I would see some of that, uh, that twitchiness sometimes down low throttle. And I found if I increased P, that twitching went away. And I could go up on P, you know, until it got to the point where it wasn't good to do. But I could go up on P and that fixed the problem. So that's why I was like, all right, I used to have higher P's on beta flight. So I'm going to try that again. So that's what I did. Gradually kept going up. Eventually I landed on a roll P of like 70, a pitch P of 72. And yaw P increased it. Contrary to what they say, at least everything I've read on yaw with P and I, I'm not buying any of it because it's not working for me in practicality. It may have worked for you. It's, it's not worked for me. So if you're having the same kind of problem I have, it might work. might be to your benefit to ditch the wisdom of the, uh, the devs and whoever else and kind of go back to what used to work. So I ended up back to like 82 on Yapi. I'm at 50 across the board on I. And the uh, derivatives, I'm at... 25 still yet on those on uh, on rolling pitch. Now, in doing some of this stuff, I decided to play around with uh, D on yaw. Don't do that. Um, so, what that was the last change that I made, and I just undid it, and that's what this test here. So, I had put uh, yaw D to like 25 also, and what I found was it flew fine mostly. There was still a little, there was some twitchiness that would happen. Uh, the lower the throttle went and on takeoff it was like it was like it was like shaky 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 and then you take off and then it would kind of smooth out and then it kind of get some weird little twitchies here and there and is that even a word twitchies anyways twitches whatever um so took that all back and that's where I ended up at so my P's for roll pitch y'all 70 72 82 my eyes are all 50 my D's are 25. My rates are what they are. I'll show those two as well. But I've got a fairly flat curve. It's not flat this way. It's it's fairly linear, I guess we'll say. Um, and I like I like the feel of that a lot better. Um, I let feed forward. I've got at 67, 67, 72. I'd lowered it down. I had it up higher at one point. I had it as high as like 80 something and 100 and something. And that definitely feels like Flight 1 on sim mode, but I didn't really like it. I like a little bit looser feel. So I loosened it back up, 67, 67, 72. 
and feed forward transitions 0.3 and throttle boost is off at zero um, absolute controls at zero I turn relaxes off VBAC uh, compensation for PIDs is off smart feed forward is off I turn relax is off integrated yaw is off um, and here's the other change that I made I changed the TPA set point beta flight does if you're listening please implement better TPA control something like flight one does it's much better if you work it that way you can do so much more and it allows so much more control wish you would do that but anyways um, so what I did was I left it at uh, 0.5 for the TPA adjustment value but I set the set point to I upped it to 1750 um, and so that seems to be with all of those changes that seems to have fixed my vibration problems so I hope this is helpful for you guys and hopefully you learn a little bit and hopefully um, you guys can get rid of your vibrations and stuff too and you go out and fly and go have some fun and not being worried about this kind of crap because it's no fun so I'm gonna go fly another couple packs here at this spot and then I don't know what I'm gonna do maybe I'll find me another spot I need to find me another spot to fly. that's what I need to do Hmm. Where could I go fly? I don't know. Anyways, I gotta find me some more places around here to fly. Um, but let's go fly some. Let's go have some fun. And uh, if you guys learned something, you know, hopefully this helps you. I'm not saying that I'm absolutely right on this. I'm just saying this is what has worked for me. Um, everything seems to be flying well. We'll do some more tests, and I'll let you know. Um, hopefully the footage looks good. I set it back to 1080p super view. I got tired of fighting with 2.743. It was kind of fun for a little while, but I'm back to the, the super view mode. So, hope you guys enjoy this footage, and you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.